American artist, fashion designer, and socialite Gloria Vanderbilt died this morning in her Manhattan home with friends and family at her side. Her son, CNN's Anderson Cooper, remembers her legacy with a very touching tribute. Gloria Vanderbilt, my mom, lived her entire life in the public eye. Born in 1924, her father, Reginald Vanderbilt, was heir to the Vanderbilt Railroad fortune, but gambled away most of his inheritance and died when my mom was just a baby. Gloria Morgan Vanderbilt, her mother, wasn't ready to be a mom or a widow. My mom grew up in France, not knowing anything about the Vanderbilt family or the money that she would inherit when she turned 21. She had no idea the trouble that money would create. When she was 10, her father's sister, Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, sued to have my mom taken away from her own mother. It was a custody battle the likes of which the world had never seen. It was called the trial of the century, and it took place during the height of the Depression, making headlines every day for months. The court awarded custody of my mom to her Aunt Gertrude, whom she barely knew. The judge also fired the one person my mom truly loved and needed, her nanny, whom she called Dodo. At 17, against her aunt's wishes, she got married. She knew it was a mistake. At 21, she married again and had two sons with the legendary conductor, Leopold Stokowski. The marriage lasted more than a decade. Then she met and married director Sidney Lumet, and then my father, writer Wyatt Cooper. If you were around in the early 1980s, it was pretty hard to miss the gene she helped create. But that was her public face, the one she learned to hide behind as a child. Her private self, her real self, that was more fascinating and more lovely than anything she showed the public. Earlier this month, we had to take her to the hospital. That's where she learned she had very advanced cancer in her stomach and that it had spread. When the doctor told her she had cancer, she was silent for a while, and then she said, well, it's like that old song, show me the way to get out of this world, because that's where everything is. Joseph Conrad wrote that we live as we die alone. He was wrong in my mom's case. Gloria Vanderbilt died as she lived, on her own terms. I know she hoped for a little more time, a few days or weeks at least, there were paintings she wanted to make, more books she wanted to read, more dreams to dream. But she was ready. She was ready to go. Gloria Vanderbilt was 95 years old when she died. What an extraordinary life. What an extraordinary mom. And what an incredible woman.